Is it nice? Very nice. Hmm. I think I'll prefer the one prepared by the chef at home. Have a test first. Okay. How's it? Manageable. Just admit it's nice. Admit what? Stop with the shakara. No, but it's, it's my nice. taste. But <laughs> I know what I like. Yeah. Mm, come on. Don't do that to me. But I'm sure I know it's nice. What? Out of mind! How dare you? Why would you want to ruin my dress? Beth! What? Sorry. Can't you do anything properly? Or the fool's like you wouldn't know how to do anything right. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for your useless self. I'm sure you didn't learn proper home training from your mother. Are you really going to beat a woman? No! Let him hit me! Whore head! Hit me! Stop this, babe. Stop what? You want to hit me, right? Come! Go ahead! Can you stop this? Stop touching me! Anyway, I won't deal with you. I need to see the manager of this place. I need to talk to him or her. I'm pretty sure you don't know who I am. I'll tell you who I am. I am the princess of Aniedo. And trust me, you smell the walls of the cell tonight. You stop. Stop telling him sorry. What are you doing that for? Did you see what he did to me? Are you here apologizing to him? Are you seriously okay? Excuse me. You, I will deal with you. Let's get out of here. Come, follow me. Do Beth, come. Get the bag, let's get Sorry. Sorry. If you suspect anything, tell us, so that we can take him downstairs. If our king must join his ancestors, we have to assist him now that we can, so that he will join his ancestors in accordance with the dictates of tradition. Oh no, please. I have not told you that the king is going to die. worry yourself too much. That will be okay. Mom, Sophia is right. Take it easy. Dad is a strong man. He won't go so easily. I'm just wondering what is keeping the doctor. Mother, you know you shouldn't have allowed those men go with him. I'm sure they won't allow him to do his job properly. There was no way I could have stopped them. They are the elders. They need to see and know what is happening to their ego. Well, Mother, there is something called privacy. 
And that is exactly what dad needs right now. I don't think Onowu would buy into that. Let's just wait and see what happens. I think we are done here. Uh, uh, if we are done here, how is he now? Uh, he's fine, but I would like to talk to his family first. Doctor, this is our king lying down there. Yes, there is nothing you can possibly hide from us. Tell us what is his condition. Uh, please, Iche, don't see it as if I'm not cooperating with the elders in council. But I would like to address this issue once. And I think that would be better downstairs. I understand what you mean, Doctor. Um, but but uh, please, kindly give us the assurance that our king will be fine. He's okay. I give you my word. Please, okay. let's go. He has refused to tell us anything. And I wonder what is so difficult in a doctor giving information to people that matter in a kingdom. My queen. Elders. The king will be fine. There is no cause for alarm. Doctor, the king will be fine? Did you say the king will be fine? Again. The same thing you have been telling us. The same the king will be fine you have been telling us since last week. The same thing you have been telling us ever since our king has been down. Doctor, tell me the truth. Is there something you have not told us? Exactly the point, doctor. Even if the king is dead. The least you could do is to tell us and save us from this dashed hope you have been giving us. Listen, we are men in council. We are capable. We can handle anything. So just go ahead and tell us what is wrong. Dad! Okay. How can you say such a thing? What else do you expect me to say, my queen? You want us to keep buying this hopelessness this doctor has been feeding us with? That the Igwe is going to be fine? No, your majesty, no. We need to know exactly what is going on. Ha! Iche! I've carried out several tests on the king. My queen, I'm assuring you that the king is going to be fine. Doctor, well, I am sorry to say this. But we have a lot of reasons to believe that you've been playing games with her. Oh, what? Please! What is this? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, Elder, you are talking too much. This man is from the hospital. A specialist. Please allow him to speak and don't interrupt this briefing anymore. You just insulted me, my princess. And let this be the very last time you would ever talk to me in this manner. Because I will not take it from you. I don't know why you are angry anyway. But I want you to know that a man that is elder won't be lying on that sick bed the way your father has been doing since last week. I want this medical doctor here to tell us. Talk to us in a mature way. And exactly what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? That my father is dead and we are trying to cover it up? Ha! What has happened? Is, is that what you people have done? Oh no. Don't tell me you're part of this conspiracy. Stop! Stop, I said! Stop it! Are you alright? How dare you utter such nonsense here? I'm only voicing my mind. 
all credible men like me in this kingdom are entitled to their own opinions. If they claim that the Igwe is fine, why is it that there has been no improvement ever since? For how long do we continue to hear he will be fine, he is going to be fine, he is going to be fine, for how long? Doctor, I want you to be more specific. Tell us in God's name what is wrong with our Iroko. Tell us! Eche, there's nothing wrong with your Iroko. My queen, I have done everything medically possible and I'm giving you my word that the king will be fine. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate everything. Thank you. I will be on my way now. I will just see you. Uh, but doctor, before you go, please, the next time you come, come with a more specific answer. There's nothing more specific than what I've already said. The king will be fine. Thank you. I was wondering if the food is going to take forever. I'm sorry, my husband. I was warning it. Uh, are you sorry? Wonderful. Just the way I like it. What are they doing here this early hours of the morning? Oh, my husband, so you're welcome. Uh, how are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Oh, uh, my cheers. You know, wake up. Oh, no. Yes, uh, I'm about taking my breakfast, and you are here. Yeah. It shows we are men of goodwill. Of course. We are here in good faith. Oh, you can, say that, oh, can say that again. Uh, please do join me. Uh, one acre, uh, get more seats for them. Uh, and uh, get more food. This might not be enough for us. For... Uh, thank you, no, but I don't think there is need for that because we are fine. Huh? We are okay. Uh -uh. I'm okay. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, do as you know has just said. I'll do that, but first let me get you seats. Thank get, you. Get, get, get thank you. I know, you know, that is alright. Right. She will get six for you. It's her neck, not supposed to be painting her like this. Nuzu, what are you doing? <laughs> nothing, nothing, my princess. Did I wake you? Uh, so, what were you trying to do? Uh, nothing, it's just that uh, uh, I so Yes, your neck. Uh, it seemed as though it was going to break. You know, so I came close to know if I could help. You know, I am always helping. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's thoughtful of you. Well, thank you. You're, I'm fine. You're welcome. <laughs> well, my princess, were you actually sleeping that time? How I wish I still have my camera phone. I would have 
snapped my princess. Uh, snap you <laughs> as you are sleeping. Um, as you, you can't do that. I, I mean, mean, what would you be doing with a picture like that? Uh, maybe keep it. You know, once my head is full, like it is full, you know, I, I will bring out the picture and watch my princess snapping in the open. Come oh, on. I didn't mean to nap out here. I was tired and I needed fresh air, so I came out here to take some fresh air and I slept off. Sorry. Do you have an idea how long I've been like that? Uh, <laughs> maybe, I, I think it's about an hour or mm. two. Mm. Yes, yes. Chai, sorry. You must have been really exhausted from taking care of the king, your father, mm -hmm. and other things. Mm -hmm. I am, but sorry, I'm not complaining. <laughs> that reminds me, I looked for you earlier. Where were you? Yes, uh, yes, uh, I went on an errand for Princess Elizabeth. Oh. Mm. But don't worry, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now to cheer up your mood. Exactly <laughs> what I need right now. So come around, come and sit down and get to it. <laughs> yes. Azu. mistaken when we call your wife Osilora. <laughs> she surely knows the craft as the women of old. <laughs> you don't know how lucky you are yes. to have her around. Oh, dear, your wife too was a very good cook when she was alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no two ways about it. But you see, some big masquerade are sure big cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that is by the way. Oh, dear, I could have more can. Can we go down to the business of the day? Uh, uh, your visit is so early. I hope all is well. Well, um, all is fine. There is no cause for alarm. Yes, um, Ono. We are here in connection with our Iroko. Our Iroko? You mean, are you talking about the king? One. So what happened? Ono, we are here to ask, how long are we going to continue like this? I mean, is it acceptable to you? And. How can we be sitting like humans and be looking at ghosts? Oh, oh dear, I honestly don't understand what you're talking about. I, I don't. Oh no. What he is trying to say is, what is going to be our next line of action? Look, we all know the situation of our king. Mm. He could die any time. And that is if he is not dead already. Mm. Yes. What will become our fate when he is no longer there? Let us not forget in the Ori that he has no male child. Who is going to be our next king? Or are we going to stay without a king? You see? Those are the topical issues we are asking here. Yeah. Oh no. For the fact that we pretend to be fools and sit watching does not imply that we are fools indeed. Not at all. We are not. You see, Igwe has been lying sick for weeks now. And all the doctor keeps telling us is that he'll, he'll be, be fine. fine. He will be fine. We are no more kids. The earlier we stand facing the ugly situation that is staring us in the face, the better. So we ask, who is going to be our next king? Yes. Are you done? What I'm asking, are you done? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 oh no, is this what you will say? Audrey, I am really disappointed in you. I don't know you to be this kind of person. If you talk about Akida Mokana, I can understand because it is in his nature. But as for you, I don't know you to be this kind of person at all. How do, could you even think that? Our king is yet to recover. And you are already eyeing the throne. Eyeing the throne? 
Did you ever say that? That's a big conspiracy against the throne. Exactly. It is a very big conspiracy against the throne. Both of you know very well that who wears the crown is the custodian of the staff of the kings. And when such person causes, because is very effective. Oh, no. Very, very effective. Oh no, we'll stop threatening all. I don't see anything wrong in thinking about the welfare the of this kingdom. Of course. Why are you smuggling costs into this? Do you really think that the gods of our ancestors will listen to him if he places a curse on us for telling him the truth? You really think that? Uh, for, 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 for seeing to the welfare of, of, of Do you really think kingdom? that? Huh? How come two of you discussing the passage of the king while the king is still alive? Or are you mocking him because he has no son? No, 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 this nothing is this is not mockery, for indeed he has no son, and you know it. He has no son, or did he? And because of that, you want him dead. No, both of you want the king dead, so you can gain the throne. Ah. Oh, Diri. Akira Mokan, are you sure both of you have no hands in the king's illness? Oh, no. If it is a joke, you better stop it now. Oh, no. Because I'm not finding it funny. Oh no, please don't try this. What is the meaning of that? Let me tell both of you. Iwo Lando will pull through this. He will surely survive. We pray so. Nothing will happen to him. And let me sound this as a warning to both of you. Don't ever go about spreading such sentiments, stupid sentiments. I don't want to hear such rumor outside here, either from any area in this kingdom or anybody. Don't! Because if you do, if I hear such from anyone, I will not tell you what I will do. I will tell both of you what I will do. Oh, is that a threat? As it is now. Oh, Diri. No. Akira Mogana, I need a rest. Meaning? Oh, no. I am not scared Excuse of you. Excuse me! between small and tiny is very simple. Very, very simple. I'm telling you. Like, when a girl is small and then still big enough to be managed by men that do nonsense, she is small. <laughs> but tiny is when she is too small that even men that do nonsense cannot do anything with her. <laughs> yes, Wait a minute, Azamaka. What kind of example is that? I mean, must you use young girls in your explanation? Uh, I don't understand. You know, did that not make you to understand my topic? <laughs> no, Chero, Chero. Did it, did it not make you to understand my topic? <laughs> uh, 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 Chero, Chero. I don't tell me that you are beginning to see me as one of those men that do nonsense with small girls. No! No, 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 no. I am a decent man of a nado. I don't do <laughs> issues. What are you doing here? Bye. <laughs> princess, good afternoon. What is good about your afternoon? And why are you always flocking around my sister? Calm down, Beth. I called him to come sit with me here. Mm. Oh, you did? And the fool doesn't know that he's not done with his duties? Azuanoka or Azu or whatever. I bet it's Azu, Azu. Whatever. Get out. Hmm? And when I say out, I mean out. Yeah. Move! Tell me to get me a glass of juice on your way. Bet. Yes? Why do you despise that young man so much? What did he do to you? Sophia, I should be asking you that question. Why is this hopeless fool always around you? 
Oh, I can't help it, okay? The man is very funny. He always has something funny to say. Like what he was telling me before you came in. He was telling me a joke about how to differentiate tiny from small. I mean, you need to get to know him. He's just so funny. He's gifted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is funny. My dear sister, if you love jokes so much, go to YouTube and download some. Must you always spend your spare time with, with this hopeless fool? Sophia, he is just a god, a mere god. He should be obeying your orders. What are you always doing with him? Oh, calm down, okay? It's not as serious. I mean, I like him. That's why I'm always around him. He's very funny. He makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, this is a signal that you're already falling cheaply for a god. Best. But listen to me. You better have a rethink before I slap that demon off your face. Please, Beth, give me some credit, okay? It's just in your imagination. Well, I hope it's just my imagination. Um, Ichi Mokhead, you are right. A regent king is definitely crucial at this time. We are like sheep without shepherds. We need someone to sit on the throne and see the affairs of the kingdom. As our king is incapacitated, what happens if it is required of a king to perform crucial assignments? What do we do? Or am I not making sense? Nietzsche, what do you think? Isn't it a good idea having a regent that can stand and represent this kingdom? Should the need arise? I think you are right. You are, you are there. That's right. You are making sense. Okudele, what you and Wokedi said is absolutely the truth. But there is a problem. What do you foresee as a problem here? Kinship in Adnedo follows a process deeply rooted into our history. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Who is it that takes up these reins? We all know that the Igwe has no son. Mm -hmm. A woman cannot rule us. You know, you are a man of honor and wisdom. I think you are in a better position to guide us. Whoever you point amongst us, we shall abide. that is going on right now as we speak in the sitting room. No, I'm not aware of it. What did you hear? And what did they say? It seems like they're talking about changing the reign of leadership due to Dad's ailment. What? They must be out of their minds. Beth? Elizabeth! Well, better go after Excuse me, we need to... Elizabeth! Beth! Beth! How can you say that to no one? How could you? This is an insult on our personalities. Yes. And without consulting anybody, I am demanding an elaborate apology from you here and now. <laughs> I get a more you want me, the traditional Prime Minister of Anedu Kingdom, to turn the apology to you for saying the truth? Huh. 
how dare you hold a meeting in my father's absence? Is this how you talk to the elders? We are your father's royal strength. We deserve respect, please. What elders? What stupid elders deserves my respect? When you all have been fervently praying for my father's death, faithful and loyal subjects won't do what you all are doing. Now listen to me, Princess Elizabeth, or whatever you call yourself. Whatever it is that we are doing here, you are not supposed to be here. Yes. This is not a gathering for women. Well, the last time I ch oh, you get this filthy thing off my path. Eh? The last time I checked, this is my father's house. My father's palace. So if anyone shouldn't be here, it should be you. All of you. You have no right to hold a meeting in my father's absence unless he calls for one, which unfortunately he hasn't done. So this meeting is absolutely unnecessary. Huh? All of you, get out. Huh? One, two, three, three, three. Say that. I, stop it. Mother, I would not stop it. I want them out and I want them out now. Um, Adesa, are you actually aware of what you are doing? Are you deaf or do you want me to say it in a manner you will absolutely understand? Hey. Get out! Get hey. them out of the space! Hey. Oh, move! Would you get out? Leave! What nonsense are you talking to me? Move! Elizabeth, come What nonsense is going on? I asked you to stand there to, to watch me! Watch me! Are you sick or something? Are you sick? Elizabeth. Mother, I won't take it. Elizabeth, what you are doing is wrong. I have never been so insulted in my entire life. Can you imagine a little girl asking us, the elders of the land, to leave the palace? Hey. Mm -mm. Mba. Mba. Hey. <laughs> Can anyone exonerate the king from this? Is he not the one who asked his daughters to follow this line? Mm. <laughs> eh? Okay. We may not have to bring the king into this. I am certain that the princess acted alone. I've only heard that that girl is so useless, a princess that never respects anyone. I'm only shocked to finally see how useless and disrespectful she is. To fear what? Listen, yours is even fair. Didn't you hear the insult that little girl gave to me? Mm. She even called me by my full name. Mm. As if we are now mates. Mm. As if she was the one that gave me the name. Of course. But I want to be sincere with both of you. Hey. Princess Elizabeth or whatever she calls herself. That girl has touched the tail of a tiger. I mean, mm -hmm. you see, eh? sometimes I begin to wonder where that girl reincarnated from. I wonder. I mean, she's so different from the king and, and, and Lolo. Even different from her younger sister. Thank God that she's just a princess and will be married off soon. Not soon out of this kingdom. Mm. Eh? Oh, but, but Akidi, Audrey, uh, to, to think of it in, in, in the other angle, mm. if, if such a girl uh, is to finally come in between the line, and replace the king. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that will never happen. Of course. As we all know, the king is seriously sick and down. Yes, yes, yes. And he does not even want to hear the issue of a second wife. It means he is contented with those girls. So logically, it goes to mean that he has lost the throne. <laughs> the throne is empty? Yes. What do we? Yes. You are going to be the next of the You! What did you just say? Anthony, are you taking sides with them? No, no, I'm not taking sides with anybody. Not, not at all. I'm only stating the facts. Listen to me. Chasing them out was wrong. Yeah, true, your father may own the structure, but the authority that makes one a king belongs to the oh, people. Oh, please spare me that, Anthony. Spare me. Are you now being serious? What would you have had me do? Sit? Watch and join them talk about my father's throne like that. You're getting it all wrong, princess. 
I'm not saying what they said about your father and the throne was right. No. What? That was what you meant. That's what you were saying I should have done. No. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Antonio Demba. I will not sit and watch those old fools talk about my father's throne like that while he is still alive. Excuse me. Where are you going? Where else? I'm going home. I actually came here hoping that you would understand me. But no, you don't. I think I feel safer in the palace. Listen, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, listen. Beth! Princess. Princess, listen, that's not how we should be, and you know this. What do you mean that is not how we should be? I know, Tony, but right now I am very angry that I might lose my temper. And please. Don't push it, I need to leave. Listen, don't, I, I, don't, please, please, don't, don't pick up. Please. Princess. Princess, can, can you just exercise a little more patience? What do you think you were doing? Sleeping in the car, you fool. Sorry, my princess, sorry, uh, are you done? He, you didn't even take time. Is there something wrong with you? Princess. Get me out of this place now. Sorry, sorry, sorry my princess. You know that? No. I, 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 I do off by mistake. Oh, please just shut up and get me out of here. Sorry, 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 sorry. You, you, you know, just shut up. Princess, listen, you don't, see, don't. You just, shut up. Why is it always difficult to get her to accept her mistakes? talk to me about your worries. Tell me, who will you talk to? Because oh no. Oh, it is nothing to worry about. Nothing. Are you sure? Trust me, my noble wife.
until he just pick up his clothes. What has got my sister so worked up? Man issues? <sighs> it's Tony. He wouldn't take his calls. You both are fighting. It's not because of those stupid elders. For some funny reasons, he shares same idea with mom. And now he's not even talking to me. It's possible that you may have misfired. Yes, you know how you are. You could have done something stupid when you were with him. Excuse me the hell out of you. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you know what I mean. Tony can't just stop picking your call for no reason. He's not that kind of person. You must have done something wrong. Tell me. You can confide in me. What is it? Does it occur to you that it is my man we are talking about here? Yes. I know it's your man that we're talking about. That is why we're both seated here trying to figure out the way forward. So tell me, what did you do wrong? Because I know you must have done something wrong. You know what, Sophia? What? Just shut up. My phone? Oh, what? Hey, Beth. Jesus Christ, Tony. What's happening? I've been calling you for God knows how long. I've been worried sick. I'm sorry about that. I just had my shower upstairs, so I was um, getting dressed. My phone was downstairs. <sighs> for some minutes, I thought something had happened. Or well, probably you were still angry about this afternoon. You know, I don't like us being like this. It's okay. And I'm sorry for making you feel that way. I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry about this afternoon. I mean, my head went all out. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm really sorry. I know. It's okay. I understand. I mean, anybody in your shoes will do exactly the same thing. It's actually quite brave of you to stand up for your dad, you know. I'm proud of you, Betty. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> you don't know how happy I am to hear this. Thank you, Tony. <sighs> I love you. And I love you too. I'm sorry, dear. I have to call you back. I just got a meal I need to attend to. Okay. I'll be waiting. Bye, dear. Take care of you. <laughs> I can see the man issues has been sorted out. Tell me about it. Yes, it has been sorted out. For a minute, I thought my heart was going to rip off when he didn't pick up my clothes. <laughs> I know, right? You need to have seen your face a while ago. <laughs> but I smell love in the air. Like he mm. doesn't circle around you when Obiora. Come on, girl. Mm -hmm. Obiora is a history. Yes, you said it. But are you sure the young man has moved on from you? Beth, what? The man is married. Whether he has moved on or not is none of my business. Yeah, right. Well, I'm just going to be here waiting for Mr. Wright to come sweep me off my feet. As in fairy tale, my sweet sister, get real. This is the real world. Well, I am real. I believe it. Don't worry, you will see it happen. Anyway, I am happy for you, girl. <laughs> oh. Ah, Adora. Yes? Why are you looking at me like that? Azuanoka. Why are you insulting yourself by looking Azuanoka. at me that way? Azuanoka, are you not feeling insulted already? How? You're asking me no, how? No, no, feel insulted. How? Because Azuanoka, of what? Azuanoka, you're asking me how? Look at it. Eh? So she took you to see her boyfriend, left you in that cost car. She also went in there to give it to the idiot. Eh? Are you a baby, Azuanoka? Look are you a baby? You idiot! No, oh, am I not the one that told you? And no, so? Did I tell you that they did anything? No, no, why are you making it up? Azuanoka, this is why I call you a local man. You call me a local man? You're, in fact, you don't have Can a you, you will drop. This what is your idiot? is for family. You call someone who has a driver's license a local man? Hey. You, you, you see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> me that has a driver's license. Azuanoka. <laughs> so a driver's license makes you a full man. Do you have a driver's license? So that's what you're saying. Look, 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 look,
You don't, this head is just for fancy. <laughs> you have to think over this issue. Think over what? Eh? If you're cost. I think I'm the only guy in this palace that, 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 that is brilliant enough. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Let me just... Go, 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 go. My friend, Zuzat, idiot. I know here. Yeah, he didn't even have a analysis. Look, 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 look at this. Do you know the processes? You, you, you will go to, 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 to obtain the last license on a corrupt Look at <laughs> Look at Idiot. Could it be that Atora is saying the truth? No, no, no. Could it be that they did it sharp, sharp? No, 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 no. They are not chickens. They are not chickens that will just clamp it. They are done. They are done. No, 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 it's like they did it. No wonder. Immediately they were coming out, I saw the fire in that idiot's eyes. They did it. They did it, probably because of the cassock that the princess was wearing. She might have as well raised it up and he took it by the back. They did it. They did it. Through the back, sharp, sharp. <laughs> oh no. Your Majesty. I invited you here today to apologize on behalf of my daughter Elizabeth. The way she spoke to the elders was wrong. I am really sorry about that. Oh, that is all right, my queen. She is a child. And she acted like one. She was fighting for her father, and nobody should hold that against her. Oh no. But why would you even allow that? I mean, why would you allow the elders to come here with such a topic of discussion? You are the owner, well, yes. But first of all, you are my husband's best friend. You should not allow such injustice against him. Uh, hold on, uh, uh, Your Majesty. Uh, it is no injustice. It is no injustice at all. You, of all people, should have known that a regent king should always be the last resort in a situation like this. The topic was not to overthrow the king in the first place. We're only trying to pick a worthy candidate that will oversee the affairs of this kingdom until our king is around. That was all. And, and besides, your majesty, this shouldn't have been happening if you had listened to me earlier by allowing the king to take a second wife. You are not getting younger anyway as to conceive again. Uh, uh, you should have talked to the king into taking a second wife. Who will be able to give him a male child? Oh no. Hmm? Well, I can see that the topic of our discussion has changed. It's all about bringing in a queen who will bear a son for the king. I am sorry. I think um, this discussion has come to an end. You, you, you see? No, can you see that? Truth is always bitter. Each time I raise this topic, you always bluff me. You always think I am an enemy, but I am not. I am not an enemy. Today, our king is bedridden. But by the grace of God, he will survive it. For sure he will survive, but who knows tomorrow? Are we going to live forever on this earth plane? Like I said, Ono, oh this conversation has come to an end. Oh, that reminds me. You said you were going for a marriage ceremony? Yes, sir. Good. I would go upstairs and attend to my sick husband. Do have an awesome day. No. You cannot dismiss me in such a manner. Not possible. 
the very man you call your husband is equally my king and my personal friend. Like you said earlier, he has never dismissed me in such a manner. And he has not dismissed our relationship. And you shall we not. You cannot. Have a good day. Your Majesty, can you feel your arms? Yes. Do you feel any pains here? Yes. My Queen, Doctor. I can confirm medically that the King is okay. Thank you very much. Dad, what's going on? calm down. Just calm down, okay? Look, that, that is awake. He's fine. The doctor just confirmed that he will regain his strength in no time. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Dad, I was worried sick. How are you? Dad, I'm still alive. <laughs> You're still alive. I missed you so much. Mm -hmm. And I missed you too. Oh, yes. All missed you. Oh, yes. Doctor, I cannot believe you. I miss you too, Daddy. <laughs> we miss you. Yes. We missed you, rather. <laughs> because you're back. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to appreciate all of you for your unbiased support through the difficult times for our near the kingdom. Especially you, I know, for your maximum support and backing. But as I know of a near the kingdom and my friend, I'm so happy. I appreciate all of you so much. You are welcome back to life. Onyeze, Ofeze Meme, and Ezali. We thank God that you are well and back. Honestly, we were so worried during the time of your travel. Our joy knows no bound that you are well and back with us now. Thank you so much. Sia Akede. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. Onyeze, um, although we all are happy with your regaining consciousness. Um, <clears throat> you know as much as we all know that you are not fit enough to handle the affairs of this kingdom, at least for now. And um, I suggest, I mean, uh, my personal opinion anyway, I think it's in your bet, the better of your interest that uh, you appoint somebody who can discharge your duties in your stead. I mean, it, it is my personal opinion. Uh, I'm not forcing it on you. I think it's... it's Again? It's your daily. It's your daily. Did you just say that? Of course, you heard me right. Couldn't you just wait a little longer for him to walk on his feet? But, but before I, bringing this matter here. Yeah. But I have to say it. 
At least you, you somebody who will be working, doing for him before he works. Papa, it's your dog. Why are you always like this? Must you always be sentimental in any matter that concerns the king? Oh, oh, oh. Listen, what Ichio Odiri has said is right. Of course. This is three weeks now since the medical doctor declared our Igwe feet. Even if some of us claim to be blind, there are some of us who are not blind. We can see. Uh, or are you not seeing him? The not Igwe blind. that I am seeing here is not strong enough to... to to continue with his duties oh, as the king of this kingdom. Of course. It's not. Yeah. Nobody is saying that he's no longer the king. All we are trying to say is, let him step aside in the interim and let somebody that is strong do the job until he comes back. That's what is so difficult there to understand? It's just simple. I don't Sorry. agree with you. Sorry, what nonsense are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get the American. That is my name. Igwe. My others. I know I am a topic of discussion here now. Yes. And I feel I am in a better position to call for help if Actually, I need one. Hmm. I am safe fit to administer the duties of both SMME and Ezani of any the kingdom. I am still the king, and I have the offer the staff of the kings of Anedo kingdom. I will fully resume in three days' time. Your Majesty, even though I didn't share their opinion, I felt betrayed. And this is bound to go on and on until they are cocksure that should anything happen to you, this kingdom will never suffer any threat from the enemy. Onyeze, it is not too late. Take another wife. Take another wife that will bear you a son. No. No, we will be mm -hmm. This is me, Onyeze. Why do you like saying this? Why do you continue to say the same thing? Why are you unable to know that I hate to hear you say this? Uh, well, sorry, you may hate to hear me say this, Onyeze. But this is the only way out. It is the only way forward. I know very well, like a lot of people in this kingdom, they only know how much you love your wife, Elizabeth. We know. In fact, you are an exemplary husband. Every woman in this kingdom hold in high esteem. We know this. But even at that, the truth is hidden. The truth is bitter, but the truth must always be spoken. Elizabeth, your wife, is not too young and will not be able to bear children anymore. Talk more of bearing a son. Imagine there are a lot of beautiful girls out there who are ready to carry our future king. All you need to do is take a step. Webike, hmm? I've told you this before. I'm done telling you this again. I cannot afford to take another wife. Elizabeth is enough for me. 
Well, Your Majesty, Elizabeth might be enough for you, but she is not enough for us. Not enough for the kingdom at all. Listen, we need a woman that will give us a son, a future king. And uh, unfortunately, Elizabeth is not the one. Listen, take another wife who will give us hope. A woman that will give this kingdom hope. Enough. If you have any other issue for us to discuss, we can bring it up. Close this chapter. It won't happen. You. Can we go in now? So you sure you won't? No. Once you see anyone with a microphone, you know, saying, eh, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, you know, it means that person knows nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> what? <laughs> We see all these things always. That is true. <laughs> you know, you know, what is you know? <laughs> what is going on here? What is this book all about? What is Azu doing here? What's this book all about? Oh, my dear princess, Azu uh, has been taking us round and round and yes. round in his cell. <laughs> Please come in and join us. Oh, well, Father, I'll pass. Not ready for his dry tales. Father, Anthony is here to see oh, you. Oh, my dear Anthony, my son. Mm -hmm. Greetings, Your Highness. You're welcome. You, Please sit. Thank you. <laughs> so, how are your parents? They are fine. They send their regards. Oh, good. I heard the good news, and I'm glad you're fine now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your fervent prayers really did a lot. Thanks to God. <laughs> Um, is, uh, uh, um, Azu, uh, your majesty, please, just give my guest and the eye a little time of privacy, okay? Father, why are you being polite to him? He is just a servant, and as such, he should know what to do at the right time. Beth. Please. Beth. Uh, 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 your majesty. I said get out already. <laughs> Quickly. Hey. Father, I wonder how you guys cope with this, this fool. I mean, he is so funny and fun to be with, Beth. I called him here, that is why he was here. You were rude. Excuse me? What? Did you just call me rude? Um, Tony, what do we offer you? And you know this is your home, so you can ask for anything. Do not be shy. I'm shy already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Whatever it is you take that makes you look this radiant and beautiful and all shiny will be very good for me. Thank you. <laughs> I got to you. Um, excuse me, Dad. Oh, da Tony. Dad, did you just hear Sophia? She called me rude. Beth. Don't Beth me. Um, Tony, my son, I'm sorry. Um, Sophia is right. Here is your home, okay? Feel free anytime. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Welcome. 
Elizabeth. Oh, don't touch me. In my entire life, I have never seen anyone as heartless as Princess Beth. What? I'm telling you, what? can you imagine? Yeah? From where that car stopped us, I had to trek to the Philly station to get Pedro. That idiot could not deem it fit to give me any transport money. I don't understand. Did you ask for it? Eh? B. So that Amadio will strike me through that her cost and devilish tongue. Ha! Ah. Hey, Emily, don't go there. Oh. See, I am Listen, big. if you are not wired to know when you are insulted, then count me out. I hate insult. Ha! Azuanoka, I am beginning to reason something. Maybe you and this girl knew each other from past life. You idiot. And I'm a kunyel. Don't get that. Don't say that. God forbid. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. What do you want me to say? No, no, no. I don't know why she hates you that much. Eh? Of all the girls in this palace, why must she hate you that much? Why would she hate you that much? I don't know. I don't know, my brother. I don't know. I'm telling you. All I do in this palace is to make sure that everybody is happy. But to her, eh, eh. Huh? You just need to be careful. I need to. But all I know in this life is that she is heartless and wicked. What oh, nonsense. Because they call, they call her uh, 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 Princess Elizabeth. She thinks she, she can insult anyone. Eh? No, I don't blame her. Her mother's name is Elizabeth. Then I in turn and gave her Elizabeth. Why would she not misbehave? Eh? God will punish you, idiot. I know well. As much as I don't want to believe it, Ono is indeed telling me nothing but the truth. I need a milk child. A milk child that can take up the reins of this kingdom when it weighs no more. <laughs> but I've gone past all that. Menopause has set in. I can't conceive. <laughs> Neither can I give birth. What should I do? I humble myself before the queen. You will reign forever. What do you want? It's just a machine. You know, they just finished running the advert on Wazubia FM. It was a boss of Wazubia that spoke about the machine. Your Majesty, I want us to buy the machine. What machine are you talking about? The machine will solve all my problems in this palace. I'm telling you. I, 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 imagine your majesty. Eh? I will speak the truth, but Princess Beth will say that I always lie. Eh? It is a lie detecting machine. I'm telling you. If, you, if we buy this machine, eh, your majesty, it will vindicate me by proving to Everyone that I always speak the truth. Get out. Emergency. Are you angry? No, no, I, I are you going to call a boss to order for the machine? Get out before I call the guards to lock you up. What stupid machine is he talking about? Something is wrong with us, man. Ouch! Are you blind? What is wrong with you? And stop smiling, you fool. Are you crazy? What's your problem? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for your stupid self. You can't even give me a simple, proper massage. What is your problem? I'm sorry, my God. Oh, sorry for your stupid self. Idiots! 
Oh, the wish. My princess, what is going on here? What's the problem? Father, I asked this fool standing right here to give me a simple massage. And then she almost broke my back all in the name of giving massage. What is the essence of keeping a maiden if she can't even give me a simple massage? It was a mistake. You made. Oh, of course it's a mistake. It's always a mistake. And then when you people make this your simple mistake, you keep that face. Father, I think you should do away with all the sleep on I don't know why we have them here. All they do is eat, sleep, wake up, gossip, nothing more. Calm down, please. Take it easy, right? You may go now. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Look at her looking like a peacock. Hmm. My princess. Father, it's okay. I want to remind you of one thing. They are humans and tend to make mistakes. Okay? Should I call the doctor for you? Oh, no, Dad. I'll be fine. By the way, have you taken your medication? Oh, yeah. I did. I did. I'm okay. Good. Will you keep me company? Well, of course. Why won't I? All right. <laughs> Father. Thank you. So, has been your day? Well, my day has been fine. So far. What is it this time? Always gloomy. I figured you are the only one that can calm her down. But really, how do you do it? She's so arrogant, pompous, and badly raised. Dan, should you be saying that knowing I'm here? I know what that means. My man is in love with the local iron lady of Anyedu. <laughs> you better take her away before she kills the servant. Uh. Well, I am taking my time. Marriage is no child's play. You know that. You know it's a different ball game knowing that you'll live the rest of your life with just one same person. Your case is different. Marina how we open doors for you. She's a princess of Anedo, remember? I'm not getting married to her because of her money or who she is. I'm getting married to her because I love her, just love her. I don't need any reason to. And mind you, when the time is ripe, you'll be the first to know. The sooner the better. This same topic again? Oh no. I told you I don't want to talk about this again. How many times would I tell you about that? Do you think I am bringing up this topic because I like it or because I want to? No, I don't like it myself. But I am doing this just because of your own good. And it baffles me to notice that you are not looking at it from the same point of view. It's all about me. No. 
Why is it disturbing you so much? Oh no, why are you so perturbed about that? I am disturbed because I, as your personal friend, you, as my king, I, as the second in command to the throne of this kingdom, I should be disturbed. Onyeze. I am worried because if anything should happen to you today, what becomes of this kingdom tomorrow? When you say take a wife, take a wife. We need a son. Or would you like your lineage to end with you? Oh, you are not talking. Yes, Your Majesty, I said I must see you before leaving this palace today. How long will it take you to come to reality? Or the fact that a lot of things are going wrong in this kingdom? Good day, Onowu. I believe we've not seen each other today. We have not met today, but what is so special about the day? When things are going wrong in oh, the kingdom. Oh no, if you have problems with the king, I suggest you go sort them out with him. Okay? Now you mind and watch the language you use when you talk to me. I am still the queen of Anedo Kingdom. Oh, no problems. Agreed. You are still the queen of Anedo Kingdom, and I am still the Onowu of Anedo Kingdom. The second in command to the throne of Anedo Kingdom, and your queenship could cease if you and the king fail to do what you should do to save this kingdom. Now, tell me, how long will you people pretend? As if all is well in the kingdom. A lot of things are going wrong. The king needs a child. A son, for that matter. And you know about it. You know what it means. Why are you so unperturbed about it? And it is your duty to talk to the king. Speak to him. Make him understand that is the only and of course the lasting solution to the problem of this kingdom. about the king getting a new wife to give him a son. Why are you worried for this man? One naked. I am worried for this man because this man is my friend. It is the king who is supposed to be worried that the kingship will depart from his family if he dies without an heir. Why are you making it a personal problem? I am concerned for our kingdom. Concerned? Yes. How much concerned? Are you trying to tell me that in this whole Aniedo, no man is worthy of the throne? Not even you? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead, ask a question. Is it a taboo if you become the next Igwe of this Aniedo kingdom? Shut up! Shut up, I said! Shut up, woman, and leave my presence. But leave my presence! Are you I said, leave my presence! Are you now trying to pour your or, or aggression and frustration on me? Tell them you did not see me. I don't know why somebody is taking Barasta Mufa, another person's headache. 
if the Igwe dies without a son. It is to the benefit of some people. Anna Ako, stop worrying yourself. Is it nice? Very nice. Hmm. I think I'll prefer the one prepared by the chef at home. Have a test first. Okay. How's it? Manageable. Just admit it's nice. Admit what? Stop with the shakara. No, but it's, it's my nice. taste. But <laughs> I know what I like. Come <clears throat> on. Don't do that again. But I'm sure I know it's nice. Oh, sorry for your useless self. I'm sure you didn't learn proper home training from your mother. Are you really going to hit a woman? No! Let him hit me! Go ahead! Hit me! Stop this, babe. Stop what? You want to hit me, right? Come! Go ahead! Can you stop this? So touching me! Anyway, I won't deal with you. I need to see the manager of this place. I need to talk to him or her. I'm pretty sure you don't know who I am. I'll tell you who I am. I am the princess of Aniedo. And trust me, you smell the walls of the salt light. You stop. Stop telling him sorry. What are you doing that for? Did you see what he did to me? Are you here apologizing to him? Are you seriously okay? Excuse me. You, I will deal with you. Let's get out of here. Come, follow me. Do ben, come. Get the back, let's get out. Sorry. Sorry. Tony, stop! Stop! Get into the car! What do you mean I should get into the car? Why were you pulling me like that? Do you know you could have hurt me? Get into the car, let's leave this place. My goodness, I can't even believe this. Is that all you have to say? After the embarrassment that boy gave to me, and you're here trying to pacify him? Get into this car now. Betty, get in this car and sit down. You see that boy? I will deal with him. I will teach him a lesson. You will go back there and tell the manager to fire him. He has no manners and cannot continue working here. Get inside this car, Betty. You heard me, I said get inside this car. Fine. You will shut up and no, move now! Tell. How could you do that? There's something I want to say. Feel free, my pen. What's wrong? If I don't say it now, 
my heart will be ripped apart. What's wrong? Igwe, I want you to take your wife. I didn't hear you well. What did you say? I want you to take a second wife. Elizabeth, what has come over you? What has come over you? Why would you say such nonsense? I am doing this for you. Who you... told you? Did I ask you to think about it on my behalf? Did I? Mom, that is right. You are worrying yourself for no reason. Am I? Am I really? The Igwe was sick for one month. And all the elders and members of the kingdom went gaga because they were not sure of their fate, assuming the king had died. I am old. It's obvious I cannot give you a child anymore. I need you to take a second wife that will give you an heir to the throne so that your lineage would continue. Enough, woman! Stop that! What's going on here? What's this um, Rukas all about? Why not ask your mother? It seems she's out of her mind of late. Excuse me. Mom? Mom, what is going on? That would have been possible if my boyfriend wasn't a complete jerk. A jerk? What happened? Wait, last night was that bad? Awful. This rude waiter spilled wine on me. And he couldn't even apologize. I got angry, slapped him, and then Tony got mad and the entire time we drove back home he didn't even say a word to me. The only thing he said to me was, goodbye. Bet you slapped a man. Why? A waiter, what? I said. Well, what difference does it make? What were you thinking? Hello? <coughs> have you been listening to me at all? Yes. Yes, I have been listening to you. <laughs> Bet that young man must have spilled that drink by mistake. Yes, it was a mistake. It's always a mistake. Why would these fools always make mistakes? And then when I told him that he lacked home training, the idiots actually raised their hand. Can you imagine? <laughs> Ed, it's even bad enough that you raised your hand on a full-grown man, but you had to drag his family into it. What were you thinking? Sophia. You're going to crucify me the same way Tony did? Oh, don't go again. But you know what your problem is? You think the world evolves around you. Oh, please. So the only thing that you think right now is that I am crucifying you? I'm sure you think the same thing of Tony as well. Girl, you messed up. Yes, okay? So the best thing to do is pick your phone, call the young man and apologize to him. What? <laughs> apologize to who? Sophia, I think you're forgetting something here, but you know what? I'll refresh your memory. I am the princess of Aniedo. And the princess of Aniedo will not stoop so low as to apologize to anyone. Even apologies to be made, it should be by that, that swine, 
That frustrated riffraff that calls himself waiter. He spilled wine on my dress and insulted me by raising a hand. Beth, look, you're just overreacting, okay? It's not that bad. I mean, a waiter once spilled wine on me a long time ago in Paris. It's not an insult, it's just a mere mistake. Well, well that is none of my business. And trust me, if that waiter continues to spill wine on customers, it will only be a matter of time before that hotel shuts down the restaurant. You know what? You are impossible, sis. Mm. Well, maybe I shouldn't have told you about it in the first place. Mm. Maybe. Anyway, tell me what happened here last night. Yes. Mom has agreed for Dad to take a second wife. What? She wants... Mom. Dad doesn't want this. Why are you persistent? I have to be there for him. To support him. Support him? By bringing in another woman into the palace. Mom, I won't allow it. My dear, it's not your choice to make. And it's not in your place to interfere. I know, but I won't sit and watch you make a mistake. We are happy the way we are, mother. Are you sure? Is that what your father told you? No, but I know he doesn't want another woman. <laughs> he is not perturbed by what people say or think. My darling, your father is more bothered than I am. He might not show it. I mean, what king would be happy knowing he doesn't have a son to take over his lineage? None. Your father is more bothered than I am. He just doesn't want to show it. Aye, 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 yo. It's been so long, Elizabeth last rose this topic. It seems as if she's almost comfortable with it. Why raise it now? Why bring it up? I'm sure somebody must have engineered her mind to waste it. Someone must have made her to be so bitter that she had to remember that we had we are short of a son. But who could that be? Is it to know who? No. It can't be him. I know, no. He's a no nonsense man to descend to the level of talking with a woman. Then who did this? Who? understand this. I mean, why is he staying so angry for so long? Isn't it said that it's unhealthy for one to go to bed angry? It's four days already and he is still angry. Who the hell does he think he is? Why that long face? I can't believe it. I am finding it difficult to believe. So, what are you talking about? Believe what? What is it? The rumor of that new marriage is all over the kingdom. What? That's not... That's not true. How come? I sincerely, I don't know. I... I don't understand it. I can't 
believe it. Why would dad hide it away from us if he has consented to it already? Do you, do you think he would do that to us? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. With all due respect, Your Majesty, I ask, why is your face like this? Eh? It seems too unhappy for someone who is about to get married. If I hear that word from you again, it's your dogger. For the staff of the kings of Aniedo, I will lay a curse on you. No, 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 Your Majesty. Who told you I'm getting another woman? That even women leaders begin to send me congratulatory messages. What nonsense congratulation is that? Mm. By the sound of your voice and the way you directed your word, it doesn't sound as if you're getting married, or is it all fake news? Of course it is. If I were getting married, you my cabinet members here would have been the first to hear about it. What a rant nonsense. I told you that I'm contented with my wife Elizabeth and my children. Whether male child or not, it is nobody's problem as it is not my problem. But Onyeze... I am not getting married or no, and that is final. I've told all of you that no one should make mention of that word in my presence again. And for whosoever is responsible for spreading this news, I must get him or her fished out that would deal with that person decisively. Honestly, I, I, I don't know why my co-elders are looking demoralized. Oh yes, the man in question whom we thought was getting married has said he is not even thinking of it in the first place. So why are you looking sad? <laughs> Listen, if you ask me, it is my personal opinion anyway, I will say that I support the Igwe, yes. Let us look for whoever is spreading this rumor and deal with him or her decisively once and for all so that there will be no reoccurrence of this evil report again. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> and that is my word. Igwe. I want all of you to listen and listen good. All I want from you all is the truth, and nothing but the truth. This rumor making the rounds about my alleged second marriage started from this palace. And I strongly believe that it started from one of you. One of you started it. So tell me. Who was it? Igwe, 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 I don't know. Igwe, I don't know. Don't give me that nonsense answer. Are you stupid? Just answer me. Answer the question. Uh, Your Highness, to be honest, I know nothing about this. If you all will deny it, I will make sure I punish all of you. And your monthly pay cut by half. Now tell me. Tell me the truth. Who did it? Father, there is no need going up and asking who did this and who didn't do that. Of course we all know who did it. It's Azu. Uh, this one standing right here is the only one capable of doing something like that. 
Your Majesty the Queen, have you seen why I said that we should buy this lie detecting machine? Yeah? Somebody is going to be calling me a lie again. And God knows I have no idea of this issue until now. Are you in any way calling me a liar? I have not said that, my princess. But I didn't do what you accused me of. You, you always associate me with lies. I swear on the throne of Anedo, I do not lie! Oh, shut up, you primitive swine! How dare you make reference to the throne of my father? Father, he did it. It's my God's feeling. He is the only one capable of doing something like that. <laughs> Will you shut up your mouth there? Please believe me, I am innocent. I didn't do this. Believe me. <laughs> well, listen to me. No one will believe you here. That's all right, my, my princess. Shut up. You look like a cow. I believe you. Men from Azuaniedo don't lie. You think you think you made it? And if they do, it must be for a good reason. I strongly believe you. Father. What are you doing? Princess. I am telling you that this one is one Princess! Way. If I let this go, it is for a reason. For one reason. But I want you to understand that you are all here as servants. As servants, you don't see, you don't hear anything. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your yes, Majesty. Now go back to your post. Thank you, Your Majesty. Get out! I said go back to your duty post. What did you just do? Did you just overrule me before those, those cheap servants? You chose to believe that, that swine over me? That man is from Azuaniedo. Be very mindful of the words you use on her. He's no swine. This is from calling him that name. That man is actually an authority. Chances are bound for you to find out. I'm sorry, Beth, but you should know when to stop. I mean, you were practically being rude to father. Excuse me. Didn't you see what happened here? Father insulted me before those, those cheap maids. Why would he choose to believe that imbecile over me, the head princess of Aniedo Kingdom? As usual, you're trying to twist what happened here. Oh. But you were trying to get an innocent man fired and that was wrong. Well, what if that is what I wanted? Why can't father just get that idiot laid off? But what did he do to you? Azwanuka is far the most liveliest person in this palace. He cheers everyone up and he makes everyone happy. Why are you after him? Why? You. You know, something keeps telling me that there is something going on between you and that idiot. Excuse me? You're quite excused. And I need an answer, dear sister. Something is definitely going on between you two because I see the way you, you flame up each time I raise the topic of that fool being laid off. So tell me, what is going on? You are sick. Very sick. Well, that is not the answer to my question. You didn't give me an answer to my question. Moron. Where are you coming from? 
Beth, what are you doing here? Is that supposed to be an answer to my question? I work. I'm coming from the office. And the livelihood of over a thousand people rests on my shoulder, you know that. And you have to stay out late to make sure they eat. Who the hell do you think I am to give me such cock and bull story? All right. You are Princess Elizabeth, the classy queen. Like I told you before, I work. And what I do or did is none of your business. What do you think you're doing here again to create another scene, isn't it? Oh, really? All I do now is fight and create scenes? Unfortunately, yes. The other day, you almost unleashed your village people on an aged man. This time, it's the bar attendant. Why did you even have to bring his family member into well, it? Well, the fool was not cultured properly. He lacked manners. He didn't even apologize for what he no, did. No, 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 no. If I recall clearly, your hands have grazed his cheeks even before he could say sorry. And don't tell me he deserves it because nobody deserves whatever you do. You are so uncouth, so untrained. You look down on people. You talk down on anybody. You don't care. Whosoever disagrees with you is an enemy. This is not the best I used to know. What has gotten into you? Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you saying I pass on reasonable and unnecessary judgments? You know yourself very well. So don't try to put words into my mouth. Is that how you see it? Oh, that is how it is. Good. Where are you going? At least I have a home. I got this drop. You don't have to. I drove myself. I'll find my way home. Beth? Beth? That's not the way to treat him. Mbakwao. No, no, no. See, 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 see. I know the reason the, the woman is mad. It's just because uh, 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 her husband eat a machine. Uh, you know what I mean? He's too small. Eh? And the idiot of the husband of a, of a husband say how they got to go and sleep, you know, with another girl. Mm. He cheated. And the idiot said girl that he, he cheated with went online and announced to the whole world that the man's property is as little, as tiny as mustard seed. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, Azo. Where do you get all this information of yours from? Ha! Ah, you think they call me Minister of Information for nothing? Eh? I know everything. And listen, sometimes I'll just be sitting like this. You know, and the, and the strange information will be rolling into my head. You don't just, you know, be rolling information everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Good morning, princess. Move. Hmm? I said move. Are you deaf or you are just pretending to be Azu? Azuka, Azuka. I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? How many times have I told you to stay away from my sister? Why do you keep locking around her and transferring your evil to her? Come on, Beth. Don't Beth me. Shut up. Is she your mate? Or does she look like one of those, those local champions you roam about with? Why can't you just, just respect yourself for once, Azu? Why can't you respect Azu, yourself? Azu, we are not Azu, Azu, my princess. Eh? And then by the grace of God, my princess, we are not doing anything. We are just sitting here and enjoying the good weather that God Almighty Himself gave to us to enjoy. What is it that I've done again? Now, if you I ask me one more silly question, I will slap the living daylight out of you. Now, get out from here. I, I, I don't know what I did. Just to... shut up! Come on, Beth, calm down. 
You're just overreacting as though it's harmless. You know, there's something about you I don't understand. What is wrong with you? You keep defending someone that cannot be defended while I'm standing here trying to protect your honor. Sophia, have you... Do you know what's happening in this palace? Do you know the rumor locking around that you're having something to do with who? That imbecile. Sophia, even if you've become a nymphomaniac and you can't even stay without a man, why not look for someone else? Why him? Azu or whatever. If you don't listen to his jokes, will you die? It's not Azu. It's Azu. Azu for Azuano. You know it, but you keep calling him Azu and you know he's wrong. Sophia, now let me tell you. If you keep defending that fool, I will be forced to slap you and restructure your brain. <sighs> Rubbish. How could you know? How could you do something like this? I was looking far for whosoever is responsible for spreading that rumor. I might never came to look your own way. Onyeze, I came here to tell you that I was the one that did it. You don't need to wonder about who did it. I did. I'm sorry about that. But I did it because I was merely looking out for you. I was looking out for my friend. Appreciate, I really appreciate all your help and your good wishes. I don't know, I must have to tell you the truth. The last thing I want is another wife. <sighs> oh no, well, you, you are very much aware of my family. My father married six wives. My mother was a third. My own mother was a third wife. I am the only male child in a family of 16 children. Oh no. I know what I passed through. You are a witness to that. And I resume the leadership, the reigns of this kingdom as a youth because my father died of heart attack. Onyeze, I am aware of all this. I can remember vividly all the nasty experience you passed through. It is indeed a heartbreaking uh, incident. But you overcame, you conquered, you have moved on, and life goes on. No, Your Majesty. How can I think of another wife? After all my experiences in the polygamous family. How can I subject my wife to power tussle and pains just because I want a male child? Oh no, have you ever thought if I might live to see that child? Oh no. You are my confidant. I would like you to reason along from my own perspective. See it from that angle and give up this ambition. Give up this issue. And let me tell you the truth. No matter what happens, no matter what happens, oh no, I am not going to marry a second wife. Then what happens to the throne? What happens to the throne, Onyeze? Or are you ready to allow the throne get out of your family into another family? No. God has a way he moves. We are not him and we cannot conclude for him. I 
I mean, do you even love that girl at all? <laughs> that where is this coming from? You have never asked me after Elizabeth. You've never asked about her relationship. I mean, our relationship. So this is all strange to me. I ask because heart can be cunning. I'm talking because when the heart and the mind are saying separate things, then they are not as good as one. That. That? Of course. That I love her. I really do. It's just that her attitude puts me off most times. I mean, the way she reasons, the way she sees things, her philosophy about life, the way she judges situations. I've tried so much to endure it, but... Nothing, Tony. Nothing. If you have a woman whose attitude puts you off, a woman that you are managing to cope with and you are finding it very, very difficult to fill in, then it's as good as going your own way. Dad? Are you claiming that you don't know why I reached that conclusion? You don't love her enough to tolerate her weaknesses. There's no point both of you staying together. When it brings strength so much, it will break. And when it breaks, you can never fix it or get fixed again. You can't fix it again. Then what is the essence of staying together? So my son, I want you to understand this. I do understand you, Dad. It's just that I never bargained for this. And I did not know you would be telling me this. Yes. And that is my final word. I want you to think about it. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> oh. Look who finally decided to show up. Hi, Princess. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. It's good to finally have you around. Thank you. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she will soon be here. Oh, here she comes. Elizabeth. What are you doing here? I was gonna excuse you, but. Good afternoon to you too, Elizabeth. How have you been? Who made this chickens? Who made the chickens? How are you? Good. Beth, I'm um, sorry. That's what I came for. I came to apologize to you about the way I spoke to you the other time. I didn't mean any of those things. Oh, Tony, you meant everything you said to me. Don't lie to me. You know I hate lies. Honestly, I didn't mean it. I was devastated. I was in a very bad place at that time. I mean, one of my drivers, my truck drivers, had an accident. A very fatal one, and he lost his life, so I was distraught. Oh. You were distraught. You know the most annoying thing? When I realized that I overreacted at the hotel, I came to apologize to you. I waited because you weren't home, and then when you came back, what did you do? You treated me like a piece of shit. And you're standing here telling me about a truck driver who possibly died because he was recklessly intimidating other road users. Beth, I didn't tell you that. You don't have to tell me about truck drivers in this country. I know them. All they do is keep bottles of hot drink by them, drink it while they drive, and then they are being ignored by our useless officers. And then they end up killing innocent citizens. Let me ask you, Tony. Did you actually react that way to me because of a common dead truck driver? Really, Beth? Yes. 
Really? An innocent man just lost his life oh, and... Please. Okay. I'm sorry. Fine. I, I take all the blames. Like I said earlier, I apologize and... You know I don't like us being like this. Come here. <laughs> you know I, I don't like it when you do this. <laughs> no. And I missed you. I missed you too. Omeraya, Omeraya, hey! Omeraya, oh! Omeraya, Jesus, come on, baby! Come on, give me your hey! Omeraya, Omeraya, hey! Omeraya, oh, Omeraya, Omeraya, Jesus, come on, baby! of this palace with your croak voice? Chineke. Or do you think you're the only one in this vicinity? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, my voice. Oh, in the rich inside. May God punish you there for daring to ask me such stupid question. Uh, Have you gone nuts? Sorry, sorry, my princess. It, it was a, a slip of tongue. It better be. Sorry. Just wash the can. Stop, stop disturbing this whole palace with, with your stupid voice. Excuse me, my princess. Sorry, sorry. Hey, 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 see, you know, I have been meaning to say this to you for a very long time, but I haven't gotten the chance, you know. If I say whatever it is you have to say and don't waste my time. Okay, my princess. Hey, my, my princess, see, my name is Azu. Listen, as Azu Anoka, not Azu. Azu is fish. Azu. Eh, eh, the Azu, you understand? So please, uh, try, 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 try as much as you can to call me my name. Because I will appreciate it. Oh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Come here. You mean I should come? Yes, come closer. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Jesus, Jesus! 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 How dare you! How dare you teach me how to pronounce your name in my father's house? You are a mess servant and I will call you whatever I choose to. Stupid fool. America! America! Adora! How dare you, Elizabeth? How dare you lay hands on a man? What? Who did you call a man father? That one? Elizabeth! Is that the person you call a man? Father, he insulted me. He, he insulted you? He insulted you by asking you to call him by the name his parents gave to him. Better than the one you chose by yourself to call him. Elizabeth, have you completely lost your senses? Father, I haven't lost my senses. And I still don't understand why you're sticking out for that, that riffraff over your own daughter. What do you expect from me? Give you an applause? Congratulatory message? Or what? Wait, Elizabeth, do you think that this man is here because he loves to be here? Or because he, he values to walk here, he wants to walk here in the palace? What else will bring him to the palace if not money? That is where you have got it wrong. It's wrong. He was chosen. Azaned chose him. It's an ancient tradition that a man from Azaned must live with the king. 
You cannot have him out. No matter how awful you treat him. What nonsense that. That is an outright rubbish, father. It's not. Liberty is not. This tradition has ever been there before my grandfather was born. It is believed that the majority of the things, if not almost all the things, that kill a man comes from his back. The back of a man is always very crucial in his defense. And that is why a man from Azuanedo must live with the king as long as he lives and his reign lasts. So let me understand this. He has immunity from being fired. Well, Father, why don't you tell the same people who brought him to, to look for, for someone else? Someone from the same as who I need you. So I don't, I don't have to put up with that, that idiot, Father. Elizabeth, don't complicate this issue more than it has been. Learn to accommodate him. And that is all. That is all, Elizabeth. You may leave now. You know, I just have a feeling that that boy used a spell on that. I mean, I don't see why that cannot tell the chief priest to get another person from the same Aniedo. I, I just can't stand that boy. I can't stand him. Elizabeth. Your father is actually right. No man from Azuaniedo kingdom can be hired nor fired at will. As a matter of fact, they're actually chosen by the gods to ensure the security and safety of the king. I have never had that before. But I don't have a problem with the guy. As a matter of fact, I like him. He's very funny. Since he is here for our own security, bet, just learn to tolerate him. <laughs> what? Tolerate who? That fool? Oh, come on, give me a break, Sophia. Not with that stupid attitude of his. Bet, some other guy could have slapped you. You're being too hard on the young man. Get to know him. You may even love him. In hell! Well, Mom, I need to go upstairs. I need to do some touch up here and there. My heart robe is coming to take me out. Mm -hmm. No beds. Well, go get yours and stop being jealous. Jealous? Mm -hmm. Mom, did you hear that? She thinks I'm jealous of her. I just feel sorry for Tony though, because if Beth continues like this, she is definitely going to be a headache for a wife. Well, to the best of my knowledge, I do not think Anthony has proposed yet. So, let's not let our minds wander. Are yeah, you right? Mm. Wine this early? I have always told you, you don't do wine in the morning. Rather, you do water. Water. Okay, Mom. Yes, ma'am. Please, is Azwanuka around? Yes, sir. Could you call him for me? I will do that right away, sir. You don't need to ask. All right. <laughs> oh, you're here. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I am fine, sir. Good. I'm sorry. Sorry? <laughs> what for? 
You have not wronged me in any way. Princess Elizabeth did. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> it is just a little misunderstanding. We are always disagreeing, <laughs> but it's nothing. Trust me, sir, it's nothing. <laughs> Good to know. All the same, I accept my apology on her behalf. <laughs> I hold nothing against her. I don't know how to bear grudges. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what is going on here? Ah, please. And you, what are you doing here? Did I ask for you? I asked for him. Why? What did you do that for? If you needed someone to do something for you, you would have asked another person, not this monentity standing here. No. Are you not forgetting something? Good. Thank you. <laughs> That's in the spoiling. Ah. Uh, okay, well, it's nice. Thank you. Mm. But no, it's cheap. Really? Enough that you were over there checking my man out. Now you want to have him in your pictures? Elizabeth. Please, Tony. Are you in any way referring to any of us? Excuse me. Well, unfortunately, I won't excuse you because I have had enough of this. What is this? You have no shame? Beth, this is what? not necessary. Please, Tony. First, you sat down over there. Trying to flirt with my man in your mind. Now you want to have him in the physical? Get off with your stupidity this minute. And who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are to talk to me in that manner? How dare you? It's very obvious that you are crazy upstairs. But let me remind you one thing. You don't have monopoly of madness. So you better back up while we are nice to you. Please don't take it too much. Please just disregard it. Warn your girl. Oh. How can she do that? How can she push that girl so hard into that pool? She pushed her so hard she could have injured her or even murdered her. That girl could have hit her head down there and, and it would be another story. What would I say? That my very erratic and spiteful girlfriend could not control her temper? That's so lame. Just calm down, please. Take it easy. Calm down. I'm trying so hard to, but I can't. I just cannot. What has suddenly got into her? How did I even get myself into all this mess? This is exactly not the girl I fell in love with. Something is wrong somewhere. This is the girl I give everything she asks for. I offer her, I give her whatever she wants. Yes, I can't have peace. Why? She easily could have become a murderer today if that girl had died. And how do I explain it? I don't even know what to say myself. But I know you are pissed. But please calm down. Your dad could hear us from inside. Of course. 
and then he would be vindicated. Just the same thing he has been advising you to do. If you cannot cope with the girl, let her be. Leave her. You're not compatible. Well, anyway, um, there's this new place in town with very good, fine girls. You will like them. We could enter into a hotel this night and, uh, you know. Will you shut up with the cock and bull story? You know I don't mingle with whores. And let this be the first and last time you give me such very useless suggestion. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I, I'm sorry, my princess. I, I just want to get some some water. And I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your quiet time. Okay, I I, I will leave, and I, I I am not going to tell anyone of this. I'm not going to tell anyone at all. I, I promise. I, I swear on my life. If it's possible, don't let anyone come around here. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. No problem, princess. Just consider it done with excellent and immediate alacrity. Oh? Huh? No, no, I mean, no. I, 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 I have not seen her. Azu, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I've not seen her. Is everything okay? Uh, not really, but all will be well as soon as I find her. <laughs> all will be well as soon as I find her. Something. Please, son, tell us. What is it? Okay, so I. I'm getting married. <laughs> But sir, I hope you're not trying to pull her legs. No, not at all, Dad. I'm serious. Eh? Yeah? I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. Please, I'm serious. I'm serious. Soon we will. We have to. We have Very to. soon. Oh, sister, sister, sister. Oh, sister. The news Please. has not yet landed. And your mom is eager to play. Ah, I'm serious. 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 I
Hello? Yeah. Chief Udemba, I've heard you. <laughs> I won't be tired of waiting, okay? Thank you very much. Father. Yes, um. Father. My beautiful daughters. Uh, uh, I've been just getting off uh, the phone with Chief Udemba. He and his people will be coming here tomorrow. <laughs> why? You ask him why, daughter. You are in a better position to answer the question. If you don't know why they are coming, who else would know? Can we, I don't even understand what's going on. He proposed and he didn't bother to say anything to me. So much for being a sister. Excuse me, Father. Father, seriously, I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. Why would he want to pull such stunts? He didn't even tell me he was coming here with his people and he had his father to call the king. Doctor, there is no problem about that. The fact is that they are coming tomorrow and he called. Okay? Uh, Chief Udemba. Your Highness. I've heard everything you've just said. It's a good and wonderful thing for a man to find a wife. I have to call my daughter. Excuse me. So, Chief Udembo, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how is your family? We're all okay. That's <laughs> good. Yes. My beautiful daughters. Hmm. Princess Bert. Father. This young man here is here for you. He comes to seek for your hand in marriage. So, what do you... Hang on a sec, your, your Highness. I haven't come for Princess Elizabeth. I came for Princess Sophia. What? what? Look, this is not right. This is not fair, but look, I promise I will get to the root of this issue. Get to the root of this issue, you see? You heard him right here. That won't change anything, he said it before everybody. He came to ask for your hand in marriage. Sophia, how could you? How could you do this to me? You're supposed to be my sister and my friend. And I am, okay? I am. I don't understand what happened. I, I, I can't explain it. But trust me, okay? Trust you! Trust you, you say? Sophia, I once trust you, and how did it end? My, my boyfriend came to ask for your hand in marriage. My goodness, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that you had your eyes on him or, or that you wanted him from the beginning? Why? Just stop, okay, stop! Enough! I don't want him, I never did, okay? I don't know what happened, but... You have to believe me. I can't betray you. Well, guess what? I will never forgive you. Bet. Bet.
us the truth. We are your parents. We will always understand you. Father, I have said this before. Even if you both ask me this a thousand times, my answer will still remain the same. There is nothing going on between Tony and I. That I know how much Elizabeth loves him, so why will I betray her? Do you have feelings for him? Mom, he's my friend too. Not as a friend. Do you love him? Mom, what I feel for Tony does not really matter. He is my sister's boyfriend and I respect that. Mom, Dad, I don't want anything that will complicate my relationship with my sister or any of you for that matter. I sincerely don't have anything to do with this. Trust me, I don't. You're clearly upset. Of so. course I am upset. I am angry at you. Tony, how could you? I'm sorry. But I couldn't help it. Honestly, I made that request from the depth of my heart. And I want you to accept it from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> Can you even hear yourself? Tony, you were in a relationship with my sister for, for two years. And for those two years, you were in the picture. The difference is I was dating your sister. Exactly. So why would you leave the woman you are dating, a woman you are in a relationship with, and point to another as the one you want to marry? Why are you doing this, Tony? You love my sister, don't you? Of course I do. But I can't force myself to be with a woman I don't see a future with. You're the one I want. Please stop it. Tony, you need to come back to the palace and make things right. You have to fix this. Okay? I don't want to have problems with my sister. Okay, fine. I will. But I need to ask you a question and I want you to answer me sincerely. What is it? Do you feel anything for me? Tony, I love my sister. I, I can't just betray her like this. Please. Well, that's, that's a fair enough answer. I'm sorry for the embarrassment that may have caused you. I just couldn't help it. Oh. oh no. Your Majesty. I don't really know what is happening. I think um, it is the intervention of the gods. Uh, did you say the intervention of the gods? How do you mean, Your Majesty? Hmm. No. If that young man deserves my second daughter, don't you think that my wish, I mean, our wish, will sell true? <laughs> what? Uh... Onyeze, are you indirectly saying that this could be a blessing in disguise? Yes. <laughs> oh no. I have been finding it difficult to break this news to her until this thing happened. She will have no problems accepting my, my request. Nestle, I don't know how you are going to present it for it to look real before the children of these days. But as for me, you know it, that you always have my support. Any day, any time. What? What did you say, Father? You want me to do what? Stay home and give you a son? Mother, are you listening to this? Mom. Are you aware of this? 
daughter, I know you must see this as an outrageous and audacious thing coming from your father. But as a matter of fact, that is the only option. But I cannot risk subjecting this palace into a madhouse. And then what? You want to sacrifice me? You want to sacrifice me for your throne? Elizabeth. It's for our own good. No, it is not for my own good, but yours. How do you expect me to do this? Go out there, look for a man who probably sleeps with me and then I get pregnant? Now, let me ask you, Father. What if I don't give you a son? Or what man would want to marry a tainted girl? Oh. Now I get it. Now I understand it. Father, that is why you were so unruffled even when Tony embarrassed not just me, but the whole family. You had this plan with him first hand, Father. You wanted him to go for Sophia and I end up as your baby making machine? Just calm down, Beth. Put yourself together and how dare you speak to Father in such manner? What makes you think he would do that to you? Oh, just shut up! You got what you wanted already. Keep quiet. Elizabeth! Mother, don't call me! Listen and listen good, you all. I won't budge into your dirty plans. It won't happen. Try elsewhere. Moreover, your option is not far-fetched. Sophia can get it done for you. After all, she is your favorite doctor. Excuse me. My princess. My... Uh, are you done? Yes, yes, my princess. Uh, the car is ready. Okay, that's um, that's fine. You can go. My princess. Yes. Sorry. Does it mean that? You don't know how big you are? What do you mean by that? I don't understand. The kite is a lovely bird, white, white. But it is nothing where the ego is. My princess, you are much more than the ego. And I wonder why you, you are allowing all this nonsense in this palace to weigh you down. Wait a minute, Azu. You know about it too. Even if no one knows, I will know. For I occupy an important place in this palace. Forget about what the kite did and realize that an eagle like you fly higher than all the birds in the air. Okay. Does it mean my sister was right? That you are intelligent and you know what to say to someone? It is not the end of the world. 
Yes, yes, he left you. But that doesn't mean that it is the end. Just like every money that comes into the pocket has an answer. Every girl has her own better half waiting. Maybe it's him. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. So why kill yourself for that? Listen, my princess. There are more interesting and beautiful things that are yet to happen. So if you kill yourself for what is already happened, what will happen when the real thing happens? Huh? Listen, my princess. Failure does not mean that we have failed. No. Okay? Just, just get up. Dust yourself and move on. It is too early to say it is over. I'm amazed. You're intelligent indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. My princess, always remember No matter how hard the world may try, they can never salvage anyone that gave up on herself. Please, my princess, don't give up on yourself. The future holds the world. <laughs> Always look into the future. beginning to show itself. He likes you. I'm serious, he loves you. Come on, Beth, don't be ridiculous. I am not being ridiculous. Darling, I have seen him. I've seen the way he looks at you. I've been with him. The way he lights up like Christmas each time your name is being mentioned. Look, that he is my friend, okay? He became my friend because he dated my elder sister. And all this build up amounted to nothing. Listen, darling, we need to face reality here. It is you he wants, not me. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is the disturbing thing. I don't understand it. Where does it even happen? A man that dated my elder sister for two years is to be my husband soon. I don't understand it. I'll make you understand. When we decide to face reality, we realize that everything in this life is possible. Sophia, he fell for your wonderful nature. You are a lot of things I am not. I had this man, but I messed up big time. I pushed him so hard that he didn't even want to be around me anymore. Tell me, what man would want to spend the rest of his life with a girl like Ed, that? Please don't say that. You're a wonderful person. As a matter of fact, you're the most wonderful person in my life. You're not bad. You were just you. Characters like that is rare, sister. I know I'm wonderful, Sophia. But you are more wonderful. Your quiet nature. Your friendly behavior. Your relationship with people. Even the servants. He saw everything, Sophia. Why would I want to lay claim to a heart that is very far away from me? Now tell me. You love him, don't you? Uh-huh. I see that, Lukins. I mean, which woman wouldn't fall for a man like him? I'm sure even the maids in the palace are given the way to struggle to serve him each time he's here. <laughs> Listen to me, Sophia. Don't push him away. Love is a beautiful thing. I mean, I was scared for you the time you broke out with Obira, not wanting to give any other man a chance. Now that is happening and it's happening for real. Don't push it away because of me. Don't think I'll get hurt. Uh, of course, I will get hurt. In fact, I am hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. But it's a phase. It will pass and I'll be alright. Okay? You will. your reasons and I think I know them I mean I saw the handwriting on the wall but I didn't take it serious you're right I am proud and egoistic maybe it's time I work on myself Tony, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the pains and the pains and embarrassments I created for you with my stupidity. You didn't deserve any of them. I'm truly sorry. No. I'm the one who should be sorry here. I mean, I saw the sign all the while, but I, I was just blinded by the truth thereby causing you more embarrassment in the process. No amount of sorry can make up for the emotional trauma you've gone through. It's okay. It's well past. Beth, you're a good 
good girl. And you would find someone who would cherish you. I bet I will. Then Where is he? Where is he? How dare you raise your filthy hands on my sister? Uh, Beth, are you okay? Did he hurt you? Sophia, I'm fine. As you can see, nothing is wrong with me. Is this some kind of joke? You sent me a message telling me that Tony hit you when you were trying to reason with him. What? Well, he did not. No, no cause for alarm. I just had to send you that message to bring you down here because I knew if I had told you to come, you wouldn't. I'm as surprised as you are, Sophia. But why did you do that? Immediately I walked in here. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I yeah. just wanted you two to talk. Beth, that's not fair. You got me really worried. I was so furious on my way here. Furious enough to have killed me had you not met her in good shape? Well, yes. Um, maybe no. I don't hit women. Let alone the lead princess of a Niedo kingdom. I still love my life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I think my work is done here. So, I'll leave you two. Come here. <laughs> mm. See you at home. Make sure you two have a nice time. Did you actually believe I could hit your sister? Or any other woman for that matter? Look, I'm sorry. Okay? The whole situation was complicated and it got me thinking wild. I'm sorry. Plus, she means the whole world to you. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know, it's okay. So now let's talk about us. Let's. <laughs> Tell me, my Otaruta. That's true. <laughs> Your Majesty, are you going to give up on this too? No, no, I'm asking, are you going to give up on this as well? You brought up a beautiful matter and you are going back again. Do you want to allow this flop? Simply because the princess doesn't want to go ahead with it. I know what you want me to do. Should I force her into it? Yes, exactly. Yes. Your Majesty, you are not just her father. You are equally her king. You know what that means. And she has no alternative than to take orders from you. It is not an order. It was a suggestion. And she, if she's not comfortable with the suggestion, I would not hang her neck. Then what are you going to do? No, tell me, what will you do now? And what are we going to do as well? Onyeze, now tell me, are you going to take another wife instead? Let's just focus on my daughter's marriage. And after the marriage ceremony, we can discuss more on this. My princess, today is the second Saturday of the month. He's the one that always goes to represent the king at the vigilante executive meeting. But I think he will soon be back, my princess. Oh, I see. Um, tell him to see me once he gets back. Okay? To see you? Yes. All right, my princess. I should 
tell him to see you when he comes back. But I don't understand what is going on. Is there anything going on between you and Azua Noka that we don't know in this palace? All of a sudden, both of you started relating, relating very well. Something is going on somewhere. Something is going wrong somewhere. Because even the devil I know can change. But you, Princess Elizabeth, you cannot change. You are unchangeable. And what exactly are you thinking? That princess is dating Azwanuka. Hey, you wonder. Eh? Listen, I didn't tell her anything, no. I'm telling you. Probably she has realized that uh, love is better than war. <laughs> we are good now. That's all. Hi. She is no longer an idiot. You are good with her now. Yes. You are good with her now. Exactly. <laughs> what does that mean? Huh? No, no. What does that mean? Ah. Is it possibly what I'm thinking? What do you mean? What are you thinking? Huh? Well, I don't know what you are thinking. I am not ready to answer what I don't know. You understand? I mean, she despised me with passion. Couldn't even stand the sight of me. <laughs> then all of a sudden, she started, you know, talking to me responsibly and treating me like a human being. Ay! What do you go? <laughs> Men of us who are do and deadly charms. Excuse me? No, what do you mean by that? No, no, no. What no, is no, no. When I, when I, when I, what do you mean by that? No. Azua Noka. No, swear. No. Swear on your life. Swear on your life that you didn't use something on her. They won't need you at all. Look at listen to me. You can deceive any other person in this palace, but not me. Not me. This guy gonna need you at all. Listen to me. The devil we know might change. But Princess Elizabeth can never change in her life. So you might have used something. No, 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 no. Because of whatsoever rubbish you believe, you now think I may have used something on her? You idiot. Go on, idiot. Look at, look at, look at, look at this idiot, though. No, I mean, why are you this useless and primitive? Hey! <coughs> Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen me? Idiot! Idiot! You, Aswanoka, a man of Aswanoka, you're calling me, MLK, a primitive. Evil to What do you mean primitive? I'm not a primitive. Come on, get with God. No, no, repeat, repeat that nonsense you just said now. Repeat the error. Go on, Kanya. Take a shot. Just um, <clears throat> a little bit dizzy and feverish, but it's okay. You see, I'll be fine. You see why I told you to let the wedding planner handle everything? Sophia, but I allowed the wedding planner to handle everything, but you know, I just had to do a little bit here and there. But it's okay, I've taken some drugs, I'll mm -hmm, be good. Mm -hmm. I, I won't take that. You will need to see a doctor. Okay, mom. I will, but that is when your wedding is completed. For now, I need to go in and check that the arrangements are going on properly. Bet, come and rest. I just feel you don't look well. The wedding planner came with some people to help out, and if they need extra hand, the servants are here to help, right? Come and rest, please. I want 
want you to focus on yourself. Calm down, it's your day. Moreover, your in-laws will soon be here. Hmm? Okay, let me just check what's going on upstairs. Pet? No, pet! 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 Go, go get my mom, get my dad. Pet! You get water, get water, get something. Tony, you're taking the whole year. If you take the whole year, what will you expect Sophia to do? Tony? Calm down, I got to look good. It's my day. No more hard than yours. Say it's our day, Dan. Well, really, you are looking good. You can say that again. Where are my parents? They're outside with the guests. Good. <laughs> Baby, what is it? Why are you crying? This wedding is off. Hmm. Excuse me? Tony, you heard me. This marriage can't take place, not after this big truth that has been revealed. What big truth? My sister is pregnant. She's pregnant with your child. Ah. My child. How? From, from, from how? Dan? Hi. Dad. What are you all to, what are you talking about? Which, which pregnant? Which child? How? Father, haven't I answered you? I'm not responsible for that pregnancy. Even if you ask me this a million times, I'll give you the same answer. And Tony, calm down. Just calm down and think clearly. If Princess Elizabeth said it's true, then it must be true. Then this case must be an exception because I'm not responsible for that pregnancy. But you hear what the sister said. She may have said that to tarnish my image or to ruin my wedding. You know her and how erratic she can be. I'm not responsible for whatever is growing inside of her. And that is the truth. I've told you all this. I don't know why you keep asking me this over and over again. This matter is a very complicated one. Tony, the best thing for you to do now is to remain calm. No, no man. I won't sit back and watch anyone ruin my happiness or drag my reputation in the mud. No. I understand your pain. But... Tony. Come with me. Sophia, I am not responsible for that pregnancy. Tony, Tony, will you just stop lying? Just say the truth and set yourself free. Say the truth? What truth? You want me to bend down and accept a sin I didn't commit? Really, you didn't. So tell me, were you sleeping with my sister or not? Sophia! Were you or not? You were the last man in my sister's life, so that pregnancy couldn't just be an accident. Sophia, in the name of God, I am telling you the truth. I am not responsible for that pregnancy. Okay, ask best. Let her tell you Tony, the truth. Tony, Tony, just, just go. It is clear that you do not want to tell me the truth, so just leave. You still don't believe me? Please leave. I just go away, Tony, go away.
Why do they all find it difficult to believe me? I'm not responsible for that pregnancy. That's what you've been saying. But I wonder how we're going to prove it to the people. Why do I have to pass through this? Why? You're not a stranger. You know how much I have spent planning this wedding. Now everything is going down the drain. And a strange pregnancy hanging on my neck. Really, we planned that you're supposed to see the king. Why did you go to the palace without seeing the king? I didn't know what I would be telling him. At least you would have seen the pregnant princess. She would have seen the wreck you've become. And then maybe she will pity you and open up to who owns the pregnancy. What is the meaning of this? Why? Why is this happening to me? Just tell me. Why? Can we drive? Without clearing up things, I need to know the facts. I need to know the truth. Just talk to me, Beth. Tell me the truth. What's going on? Am I the father? And if you are the father, will you leave my sister? Your sister already called off the wedding, so that's not even part of the issue here. I just want to clarify things to be sure that I'm not making a mistake. I want to be sure. Tell me the truth. Who is the father? L listen, for the love of God, leave me alone, please. Stop being paranoid over nothing. Let me be clear to you. This child isn't yours, so be rest assured. That who, who is the father? I have told you what you need to know. Something I have never told any other person. Tony, please just leave me alone. What am I going to do now? Go make peace with Sophia. Find a way to sort out your relationship. Let me know what you lost in the aborted marriage, and I will remit it to you. Elizabeth, you really think this is about money? I'm a broken man. I'm crushed, like I'm dying by the day. You will not die, my dear. You are part of this family already, and nothing will ever change that. Go and reconcile with your wife, and give me feedback. I vow in my honor, I will upset the bills. Your Majesty. Oh no. Something very serious happened to you indeed. But that is not enough reason for you to want to kill yourself in water. No. Remember sometime in the past, much thinking almost took you away from us. Stop worrying. What is it? Stop worrying. I know. What should I do? I should begin to clap my hands, sing praises, or begin to dance around? No. My daughter, the first princess of this great kingdom, is pregnant. And the father of the child is still hidden. The, the identity is not known. She is not saying anything regarding to that. Onyeze, I know. I know this thing. 
The truth is that there is no father that will be happy with this kind of things happening to him. But, Your Majesty, you think about it, don't you see that the gods are working with you? The gods have answered your prayers. Oh no. Are you mocking me? No, no I, I, I'm not mocking you, Onyeza. Of course, I cannot mock you. Apart from being my king, you are my personal friend. So I can't mock you. All I'm saying is that I want you to look at the bigger picture of the situation. Now listen. Your daughter, the princess, is carrying an unnamed man's child. And may the gods grant that she gives birth and he becomes a boy. Of course, if it happens, you know that you have gotten somebody that will carry on your legacy. Yes. Princess Elizabeth, your daughter, refused to cooperate with you, listen to you. But now she is pregnant. Think about this. What is it? Don't you think it is a blessing in disguise? No. It can only be possible if the man in question, the father of the child, continues to be hidden until the child is born. Your Majesty, if there is anything we can do to ensure that this child comes out a boy, let us do it immediately. Yes. The gods are behind us, strongly behind us. And we have to take it up from where they stop. A bigger picture? Did you say a blessing? My daughter, I mean our daughter, is pregnant out of wedlock. And all Onowu could say is that he prays the father of the child never shows up. How do you explain that? Onowu is not far from the truth. I do not see it from that perspective. But everything is turning around now. It could be a move by the gods to solve my problem. Igwe, do you listen to yourself? Do you really listen to yourself? Or is your dream of wanting to own a male child made you lose your, your, your sense of direction? Our daughter is pregnant out of wedlock. We're not even sure if she was raped. I doubt it. Because she's not saying anything. How many times do I have to ask her for that? How many times? Her sister been called off her wedding, believing that Tony was responsible. But he's not. She herself has showed us that Tony is not responsible. What else do you want me to do? Igwe, let us not give up on our daughter. Is it too much to ask for? No! No! Igwe, no! It will what not I said to happen! No! No! no, 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 no shut up! I'm not saying it! Shut up! I don't know what to say! It will not happen in this way! It will not! What kind of example are you What kind of example are you What kind of example are you What nonsense are you talking about? All right! All right! Are you mad? That is all right! How dare you? You don't do that! You don't do that! I don't know I've not said anything wrong! Excuse me! Not in my presence! Not in the presence of the king! How dare you? But we are saying the truth. What truth are you saying? 
Oh, no, but just come down. Don't mind this vagabond. I'm talking, you are still talking. Like I said, I don't see anything wrong in what the king has decided to do. The king is only giving hope to this kingdom. I agree and that with, is that. I agree with you, no. The gods have demonstrated benevolence to this kingdom. Therefore, you don't have to worry about anything. I, I don't understand both of you. What? What stupid hope and useless benevolence are we talking about here? The Igwe is going to leave this kingdom in the hands of a bastard. A bastard. Mm. And you call that hope and benevolence? Mm. I can't understand your talking. Now listen. A bird that constructs with its peak can equally destroy with that same peak. Yes. And what is that supposed to mean to know? You in particular, Akedia Mokane, to your own interest, to be very, very careful, particularly in your choice of words. Good. Oh, why? Oh, oh no, I don't know where you're coming from, Ono. I've not said why? anything wrong. No, no. Why? Oh no. He shouldn't be shut down. He shouldn't be shut down. Of course, he, he has not said anything wrong. Oh, I, I wonder. Hmm? Or oh, where has it ever happened? No, has it ever happened in this kingdom? Ask them. At least, at least, at least, at least we should be careful. I mean, critical uh, about the kind of things we even consider. Indeed, you know, let us stop behaving like children. We are in a cabinet meeting and not case man meeting. We know that already. What are you implying that means? And from my own point of view, I don't think what Igwe is doing is wrong in any way. That's what you say. I know. I know it is what you will say. I know. Oh, huh? Akida Mokan, you are here flaming. You did it! Oh. Your daughter gave you two sons after the untimely death of your wife. Oh, oh my, don't mind, don't mind. Yes. <laughs> Today, those sons of your daughter bear your name. And you know, no one in this kingdom will deny them of their right. So what are you flaming and putting fire? As if this one is a different Of okay. course, there is a difference. It is. Mm -hmm. How can you even compare the two? See, listen, there is a vast difference between us and the royal household. Now, let me ask you, would you allow a man whose paternity identity is not known to marry your daughter, let alone be your king? Oh. Would you allow that? Who knows if the father of that thing the princess is carrying is a madman? Or, or, or even an epileptic? Oh, oh. Would oh. you allow that madman to rule this kingdom? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, I, I am talking to you. I said to move this to oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are confused. We don't listen here. That had been so quiet just because of one thing. One thing. But I have to let you know one thing. I have to make you understand one thing clearly now. I cannot hang my daughter for refusing to say the man that put her in a family way. If she gives birth to a son, I will make him the crown prince of Anedo kingdom. That is it. That is it. With the staff of Anedo, I can get it done. Igwe. With the staff of Anedo, a slave becomes a freeborn. And an outcast, a citizen. Now listen, listen good. If any one of you is not comfortable with the verdict, let him quickly resign from this cabinet so that I can appoint new members who can obey and respect the verdicts of the man who holds the offer, the staff of the kings of Anero Kingdom. And that is my word. Onyeze, may you live long. What he has always done is intimidate the elders with the staff of the ancestors. And now, finally, he has traded this kingdom into the hands of a stranger. I know it. I know it. I have always known that the man wanted a son after him, despite his denial. But I never in my wildest imagination thought he could resort to this. Listen, this is the handwork of the Ono. 
He will never learn to stay away from what does not concern him. He will always chip in word where it is not even necessary. It is now. Yes. It makes sense now. Akiri, Odile, start fighting over this. Eh? How? Igwe has made his decision and there is nothing both of you will do to change it. Not even the chief priest. What is it after all? Igwe has made the right decision and you are here blabbing as if he's wrong in, in, in any way. Okay. Mokhed, is this actually coming from you? No, no, no. Let, let me get something clear. On whose side are you? Are you with us or you are with the king? Akedi, is this a kind of joke? Of course, I'm for the kingdom. Anything that will benefit the land of my birth, I, I need. I, I will support it. What, what's, what's all this fuse all about? I see. Now I know why you can never grow up to stick to a decision. Akedi, no problems. So, wait. You are for the kingdom. Please. Oh, we are here for the kingdom. Come with me. Let's go. Akedi. Adele, if you like, go knife with him. But let me tell you, there is nothing both of you will do to change it. Nothing. No, my Sinaja. The king has spoken. Make decision. Elizabeth. You said you wanted to see us, right? Dad, Mom, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry because you have been ridiculed because of me. Please forgive me. What's done is done. We can kill you for it. Elizabeth, your father is right. You are our daughter and would love you so much. Oh yes, you have disappointed us, no doubt. But we're not going to tie the noose round your neck. But it would be nice if you could tell us who's responsible for the pregnancy. And it would also be good for the child in question. Um, that is actually the reason I called you all. The father of <clears throat> the father of my my child is it, it is Azu. What? I am disappointed in you, Elizabeth. Of all the men in the Nyedo Kingdom, the educated ones, all of them, you didn't see any of them to sleep with. It's an, uh, a Swanuka, the young man that you hate more than Satan himself. I, 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 you know, I, I really can't believe this. If anyone had told me that you, Elizabeth of all people, would sleep with a man outside wedlock, I would have cast the person to hell. Sis, what? that is about to commit murder. About to kill someone. What? What? Yes. Azu. 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 Oh my God. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you eat from my plantain plantation? How dare you? Do you know what I passed through to make it look that beautiful? Father. Do you know what it took me to Father. make it blossom Father. and look so attractive? Father. Don't do this, don't do this. He, he hasn't done anything wrong. I went to him first. Father, please don't do this. So, so what is this, princess? Stop it! Go, go, Stop it, Azu! I committed this and let it. Don't, don't listen to him. He didn't do anything. I went to him, Father. I did. Listen. There is no way I'll let anything happen to you without you seeing your child. Father. Father, please. I beg you, don't do this. Don't. I beg you. But then, if you have made up your mind, then just go ahead no, and don't shoot don't. me. Shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me, Father. Shoot me already. Please. 
Guards! Lock him up! Give him no food or drink! Until I say otherwise! Mother, you cannot do that! Hey. You cannot do that! Take him away! Stop! Stop! It's just a matter of days before anything happens to him, mother. Please, please. somewhere no I was just trying to leave you're just going to leave like that are you that angry at me that you won't even talk to me about it you just leave town am I that insignificant to you you were the one who called off the wedding well I called off the wedding because I thought you were the father of the child oh now you've realized I'm not yes I believe you now especially now that the real father has been found really Yes. Tony, I am sorry. I am very sorry. I know that there is nothing I would say now to justify my actions. Oh, sorry, please. Don't punish me. Tell me whatever you want. I will do it. Just stay, please. I'm not going anywhere. My parents are the ones traveling. They are going for my cousin's wedding in Makodi. As for the apology, you need to do more than this to convince them. Whatever you want, I, I, I will. Sorry. Let's go in so you can talk with them. I have never been disappointed as when this naked truth has stared me in the face. Azuanoka, you hurt me. You trampled upon my trust and you tore it into pieces. You tore it into shreds. Well, there is no need crying over spilled milk. The solution is what we have to seek for. Elizabeth. Father. What do you want? Especially as regards that baby. I couldn't have been stupid enough to give myself to a man I don't love. Always remember, don't give up on yourself. Never. Thank you. 
Father, I want to be with him. Jesus I want Christ. to be with him even without the child. I want to be with him for the rest of my life, Father. Please. Do you have any idea of what you're asking for? No, 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 Your Majesty. She doesn't. She's clearly not thinking straight, Your Majesty. Isn't I have nothing. I can't take care of you. I don't have what it takes to marry a princess like you. In my moments of depression, you taught me lots of things. You taught me that love is superior to money. And I stick with love. You changed me. You changed me from that arrogant woman to, to a woman that, that sees the value of the downtrodden. I want to remain with that love. Jesus Christ. Please. Jesus. Please, Father. Like I always say, you should do more of fruits. Mom, I've been having fruit since God knows where. Yeah, but it's good for the baby. Of course I know, but it's becoming too much, Mother. I actually ordered for apples for you. Apples? Yeah. Mom, not again. I'm tired. Do I do grapes? Mother! Oh? Oh! Hi, darling. Mm. Easy, easy. Mm. How are you? Intelligent man that I married. Mm. Oh, <laughs> the beautiful one that means the world to me. <laughs> My jewel of inestimable value. Mm. How are you today? Good. Mom here has been fantastic with her stories. <gasps> <laughs> Good afternoon, Your Majesty. You're welcome, son. Mm. So tell me, <clears throat> how did your day go? Good. Mm. Yes. It went well. The presentation was good, but no decision has been made yet. Mm -hmm. So he said he will call me. I'm expecting his call. Don't worry, darling. They will definitely call you. You're intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. You're not worried. Okay. Really, I don't understand all the stress. The king has given you virtually everything you'll ever need in your home. So why do you run after contract? Your Majesty, I am a man. Uh, actually, I am I'm grateful for what His Majesty has done for me. But I want this. I want to try my hands out on things. I want to be a responsible husband and a father who will fend for his family. <laughs> That is Mom. wise, really wise. Mom, mm -hmm. if I were you, I won't push it further. Oh. I have talked and talked, but then he wouldn't oh. listen. Oh, what's this? Hello, oh. everyone, Mommy. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. It's good to have you here. Hey, girl. Hey, oh. 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 Look at you, um. looking all beautiful, gorgeous, girl. <laughs> So are you? Well, darling, I'm fine. Azu, <laughs> hope you've been taking good care of my sister. Well, mm -hmm. of course he is. He's actually the best. I can see because you're just glowing like the newlywed. <laughs> <laughs> you're not looking bad yourself. Oh well, thank you. Who's Tony? He'll be here soon. He had to dash off to somewhere. Oh. Mm. 
busy man. <laughs> or oh, my daughters. What is it? What? I think my baby just kicked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Man. Oh my god! Clean it. Oh, no, it's hot. <laughs> oh, remove your hair. <laughs> 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 it's not yours. Mm. Uh, oh. As what is it? Igwe is coming. What is coming? The princess is in level. What? Yes. Oh my god. Elders. Please. This meeting is ended. We shall reconvene, please. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Just, just like that? This is wonderful. The heir apparent to the throne. Yes. He is as handsome as me. Oh, baby. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. Azanoka. Your Majesty. I thank you so much for this. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <sighs> Azanoka. You really made a promise and you fulfilled it. Mm. To make a promise is one thing, mm. and to fulfill it is another. You have actually proven to me that you are a man of your word. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Majesty. I so much appreciate it. Thank you. Aswanoka, thank you so much. You have saved the royal family <laughs> and the entire kingdom of Anida. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my queen. Hmm. My wife and I owe the real family a lot. Thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you for letting me do this for them. Thank you. I need to win! Yeah! I need to win! Yeah! I need to win! Yeah! Win! Yeah! Where's one? Yeah! Today is a day of testimony. You all know that it's been long I have been without a son. And this kingdom has been without a prince. And this created tension in our land to the extent that the elders of our land planned to have a regent king. <laughs> Today, we have gathered here to sing a different song. To the gods be the glory. I have a son today, and this kingdom has a prince. You may not come from me directly, but you have my blood. And you have the blood of Azel Anedo. Today, with the staff of Anedo, I decree and I declare you my son. The heir apparent to the throne. Therefore, today I decree and I declare that you are the Onochrobi of Anir the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Don't 
drone is calling, is calling for a hand. The land is yearning, is yearning for a hand. We need a hand in our kingdom. We need a hand in our kingdom. The future king, the future king of our kingdom. The future king, the future king of our kingdom. We need a hand in our kingdom. We need a hand in our kingdom. Aye, 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 yo. Aye, 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 yo. Aye, 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 yo. Aye, 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 yo. 